Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I'll show you how to upload designs into Design Space so they are crisp, smooth, and ready to use. As a creative person, I often use programs like Photoshop or Canva to create designs. But let's say that you created a design in one of these programs and try to upload it into Design Space, only to find that it keeps coming out fuzzy or wrong. If you have ever tried to upload an image into Design Space, but have run into this issue, then this tutorial is for you. I'm in Cricut Design Space, and I have a design that I'm going to upload today. To get started, I want to show you what I mean when I say that an image can be fuzzy, bumpy, and not clear cut. Let's start by uploading my image. Over on the left, I'll click on Upload, Upload Image, and pull in my Hello Spring design. When you get to this screen, you will have three options for the image type. The first option is for a simple design. This works well if the image has well-defined lines. Let's give it a try. Click on Select and go through and click the parts you want to remove. Or, if you have Cricut Access, you can just click on Remove Background and it will take care of the rest for you. Right away, I can see that the letters aren't very smooth already. I'll finish uploading this and add it to the canvas so you can see. This will be a cut image. I'll click on Upload, then click on the image, and add to canvas. Well, here it is. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see just how bumpy these letters are. I definitely could not use this on a project, but don't worry, there is still hope. Let's try again, but this time I'll show you a few tricks. Click on Upload, Upload Image, and drag the design in again. This image is obviously not a high enough resolution, high contrast design that I can use simple, so let's go with moderately complex. I'll click on Remove Background and zoom in so we can get a better look. It still looks pretty bumpy and it's not ready to use yet. So I'll click back and this time let's use Complex. This simple step of switching to Complex will often fix this issue for most designs. Let's zoom in again so we can see what's going on. I'll try Remove Background, and it is a lot better, but it's not perfect yet. I'll click on Preview Cut Image so we can really see just how wavy this would be. That's pretty bad. If this happens to you, try this instead. I'll just press back, choose Complex, and this time we will fine tune it by using the manual settings. Down here on Manual, click on Select. Now we need to click on More Options, and the first thing I can do to make this a cleaner cut is click on Reduce Colors, so the program knows that there are only two colors, black and white. Let's try that one out. I'll just click on a few areas to delete them. And now click on Preview Cut Image. When I zoom in, it is way better, but there are still a few little spots like this one that aren't quite ready yet. The next thing I can do is increase the color tolerance. If you have a really finicky image, this is the button that's going to make the biggest difference for you. Let's try 50 and delete a few areas to see how this one is. and now click on Preview Cut Image. The main bump in the L is gone, and the lines are almost smooth enough. There are just a few little bumps over here. I'll just undo that, and increase the tolerance a bit more to 80. 
I'll remove a few of the areas again. And this time, when I click on Preview Cut Image, everything looks just right. It's nice and smooth, and there are no weird bumps sticking out anywhere. Now I can go through the rest of the design and remove the areas that need it. Depending on your image complexity, play around with the color tolerance number and keep increasing it as needed for your particular design. On certain designs, I have had to take this as high as 200. When I click on Preview Cut Image this time, it looks perfect. This will be a cut image. Upload. And add this one to my canvas as well. Now we can see a really good side-by-side -side comparison. And you can see there is a huge difference here. The one on the top is bumpy and fuzzy and the one on the bottom is clean and ready to cut out. So the next time you're uploading a design into Design Space and you run into trouble, first, change your image to complex. If that doesn't work, reduce your colors so there are only two. And if that still doesn't work, play around with your color tolerance, increasing it as needed. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.